Hey guys, I'm here in my cobbled together server room and just the other day I uh, started to hear some beeping coming from my UPS. So it's time to replace the batteries. Now this is a Backups RS 1500, pretty old by today's standards, but it still works. So what's the point in replacing it if you can just replace the battery? Now lucky for me, I uh, oriented this in such a way that it's pretty easy to get the battery out. Uh, I don't guess most people probably don't put them on shelves like this, but whatever, it's what worked for me. So I'm just going to take this cover off. It slides this way without too much force, like this. Kind of tilt it at an angle and then take it off. And this is all plugged in, so you're going to be careful. Now, the batteries are hot swappable though, so that means I can just unplug this, move this to the side here, because this is what's going to be in the way when we remove the battery and just kind of tug gently and out it comes. So there is our APC RBC33 and I already picked up the replacement batteries for this from my uh, local local battery shop so uh, I'll go ahead and bring this over to the workbench and we'll replace the batteries themselves and uh, not have to pay the full APC price. Okay, so we've got the battery out now, and here we are at the workbench. Here's our replacement batteries. Look like they're about the right size. Yeah, that looks good to me. So there are two ways to do this. You can either cut it with a knife on both sides, because the sticker is what's holding everything together, sort of, or if you want to reuse the sticker, you could just peel it off. Now, I tried this already a little bit on this corner and it looks like it's going to work. So I'm going to give this a shot, see if I can just reuse the sticker and hold everything together as a single battery pack. But if not, then we'll figure out another way. So let's see what we can do here. So far, so good. Looks like this is going to work quite well. Alright, so there's one side. Keep that over there. See everything gets a little loose now. We'll flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. I don't really care which side the sticker goes back on when I put it back together. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. Looks like the same sticker anyway. Alright, looks like I stretched that one a little bit. That's okay. Make sure they don't stick to each other. Okay, so now we have this assembly that uh, will separate from the batteries quite happily. Um, so, I'm actually just going to do this looks like one at a time. This side is fairly close together. Looks like you kind of have to separate the terminals from this one both at the same time. So we'll do this one that's a little bit looser first. Looks like we can flip it over like this. Take this off. That's negative. That's positive. So on this side, looks like black is negative, yellow is positive. That sort of makes sense. Take our new battery here. Line it up the same way. We'll put negative here. Positive here. Okay, so that side's done. I flip this back over. Looks like they had this hooked around here. Maybe they didn't. There we go. So that. I'm having trouble getting this to sort of line back up again. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's one side. Now we've got our other one, and this is the one that should just kind of, there we go. So we have positive, positive here, negative looks to be here. That's how I pulled that off, so positive's right there. We follow the same arrangement, take our little caps off. this in here. Hopefully this is going to 
work okay. Sorry if I'm getting in the way here. And then there's our other one. Let's bend this a little bit. Okay. With a little bit of wrestling, it should go back into place. Screwdriver here. Be careful here. I don't want to short anything. There. And this other side popped free again. Yeah, I'm gonna put this. So there's some little posts on this plastic tray in here that the wires have to loop around. No big deal. Just gotta make sure that they're looped around properly before they uh, the whole thing come back together. So, bam. There we go. Slap these stickers back on. We'll see if it works. Good enough. Okay. Now, obviously with a brand such as Power Kingdom, this is no longer an official APC battery, so that's pretty obvious, I'm not worried. I'm not in a professional server room here, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, so that's about that, and let's get that back in the, in the UPS. All right, so here we are back at our uh, server room and uh, you can hear our uh, UPS is kind of beep 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 in here uh, because it has no battery in it obviously so let's put it back in and uh, see if it stops complaining this is the sound that it was making earlier in the week of course as soon as I bought the batteries it stopped making the sound go figure installation is the reverse of removal that the cord that goes down here on the bottom slides into a little recess in here. So, just pop this in here. Well, it fits, that's a good indication. All right, there's one. And there's two batteries, and it looks like everything's gonna line up properly. All right, here's a moment of truth. Let's see how this goes. Perfect. Oh, it already stopped beeping. And we'll put the cover back on, the same way we took it off. Careful here, all right. All done. Well, guys, this is my first video about just repairing stuff in general. So if you liked it, hit like. If you didn't, well, I guess you can dislike it if you want. And if you want to see more, if I make more, just uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.